Mr. Teslonian back here again, folks. I want to show you a design I've been working on. This is only half the product, just to show you kind of what it looks like. Uh, of how to track a Fresnel lens, which that's the dot you're seeing, the bright dot. It's coming from this large scale Fresnel lens right here. Uh, what's going to happen here for this to be a Fresnel lens tracking system is what you see the white pieces are, are thermal electric generator chips, otherwise known as TEG chips, in a square. Now you can make this an octagon if you wanted a, a much more precise tracking system. Uh, you can make it a pentagram, whatever you, pentagon, whatever you wanted uh, to make this a tracking system. But really, four would work. And what happens here is you'd put the focal point of your Fresnel lens through the center of the box. Anytime the light would creep towards one side or another, towards this way or this way, or even a diagonal creep, it's going to start heating up the Peltier chips, I'm sorry, the TEG chips, and, and going to create electricity through them. Now that electricity is going to go out into capacitors. Those capacitors are going to charge to a point, release into a little stepper motor, and adjust the Fresnel lens. Allowing that any wander within the box for the light from your Fresnel lens focal point will constantly keep a nice tracking adjust on your light. This has been one of the biggest limitations to using Fresnel lenses in any style of large scale production has been they're very, very touchy on needing to be tracked precisely with the sun. So this system right here will allow for anybody using a Fresnel lens, say like for converting an air conditioner on the roof of a house to power on the sun itself, this right here will allow you to track that perfect dot with the sun. Uh, I thought I'd share that with the world, give everybody out there the ability to use these Fresnel lenses in a, a different scale than what we're using them today. Maybe this will open up new markets. Because you got to think of the potential amount of energy sitting there at that dot. They say that that dot from this size of Fresnel lens is literally producing a capable 10 kilowatts of energy. It would take a monster solar panel field to produce the same amount of energy that is being produced at the center of this dot. So if we can track that dot precisely throughout the day, we can deliver large amounts of electricity or heat, anything we want, mechanical energy, from Fresnel lenses instead of solar panels, or a mix of the two. Now, so here's your idea. Hope everybody enjoyed. Until next time, this was Mr. Tesslonian and the Tesslonian Man Show.